Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the CG Lounge YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this procedural moss setup in Unreal Engine 5 or 4. Now this effect can be used to create moss like I am demonstrating right now, or you can even use it to create, for example, lava cracks in magma, or even lava cracks in just this rock itself. So let's get started. So first I'm going to begin with creating a new material, so right click material, and I'm just going to call this tutorial, and open this up. So first things first, we want to bring in the texture we want to use. So I'm going to be using this rock albedo from Megascans. So I'm just going to drag this in, and then using the blue channel, I'm going to plug it into a node called Cheap Contrast, and then hold down 1 and left click to bring in a scaler, and plug this in. Now we preview this node, you're going to get a grayscale um, map, and what you'll notice is you can control the black levels with this scaler, so if I raise it, everything becomes black. And what you'll also notice is it arises from the cracks of the rocks. So the value of zero or black is going to be the moss amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and convert it to parameter and name it moss amount. With that done, what I do next is hold M and left click to bring a multiply node and plug it in and then get another scalar. Now this one will control the rock intensity. So I'm going to right click, convert to parameter, and type in rock intensity. Or actually, a better name with this would be blend amount. Because what this does is, what you'll notice is some white parts are a bit gray. So what you'll get is like, for example, a 50-50 mix between the moss and the rock texture. Sometimes you might not want that, you might want pure rock instead. So what you would do instead is you would just raise this value to remove um, some of the gray values and it's not changing because as we preview this node and it should be a lot brighter yeah so as you can see it gets more and more gray so that's going to be more of a blend between rock and moss rather than pure moss or pure moss or pure rock so from here i like to have this little node called raise black percentage or black levels by percentage plug this into the image and then get another scaler. And I like to use this as sort of like a little filter gate, like a final filter. Because Oh, and set this value to one as the default. So I like to use this thing as a little filter gate or whatever, because let's say I want there to be a lot of rock, not much 50-50 blending. So I'll raise this to some high value and what you'll notice is some parts that were once a bit on the darker side, they'll become gray. And let's say I want that part to be pure moss. All I do is I would raise this one. So I'm just going to convert this one to parameter and I'll just call it um, moss strength. I'm not good with naming, so whenever you guys set this up, just name it to whatever you guys want. Okay, so after this mask is done, uh, what I like to put in is a clamp node, and this clamp node will obviously limit it to values of 0 and 1, that, that way you get physically accurate materials, and that is pretty much it. From here, you would connect this point to a linear interpolate node into the alpha plugin, and what you'll notice is on the name it says 0, 1, so A is the value of 0 and B is the value of 1. So wherever it's black, that's A. So I'm going to control C, control V, and get this rock texture. And I'm going to plug it into the B. And then I'm going to get this moss texture I got from Mega Scans. Plug RGB into A. And then just get this output into the base color. And of course, you would do this same blurping thing for the roughness, specular, normal, whatever else, while of course using the same mask. 
and then to get displacement get the vertex normal world space left uh, hold down M left click to get multiply and multiply this by the displacement of the rock get another multiply node and get another constant by holding down one and left clicking connect these up and plug into world position offset and this value controls the strength of the displacement I'm going to put it at 20 and what you notice is we get some displacement but what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this mesh I have because it's very high resolution and what you'll notice is we have that little bump over there so that's how you set up displacement in Unreal Engine 5 and I'm just going to increase the moss amount as you can see the moss grows over now to finalize this material what you would normally do is right click oops let me actually apply first so after this is done you right click and create material instance and then with the instance you apply it to whatever you want to use it on and this is how you get quick iterations because uh, these instances you don't have to click apply every time so just click on these check boxes to unlock them and now you can see the changes in real time and as you can see by using the rock displacement we're having the moss grow over it nicely and that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions please leave a comment down below or even join the discord there's plenty of people there that are willing to help and bye bye